sorts of, especially white collar defendants, you know, at the arraignment, uh, they plead not guilty uh, but by course. So that was not a surprise, and anything other than that would it would have been a surprise. Yeah, so the next process is the judge is going to set or has set a, a, a pretrial conference date, at which point the attorneys will come together and they'll decide if there's any pretrial motions to file in this case. And in the interim, uh, the prosecution is going to release any of the statements that they had from Pastor. I mean, obviously, he made statements to the FBI that were allegedly fraudulent. They'll provide that information to the defense attorney. They'll yeah, this is going to be really tough as far as taking it to trial and getting a not guilty verdict. And the reason for that is the, the statutes under which he's been charged. The first was, you know, lying to the FBI. I mean, it's pretty clear cut that he told the FBI that, or at least they say that, you know, his intent was to keep the money for himself. And as far as the second charge, uh, uh, knowingly violating, uh, you know, the banking uh, uh, procedures as far as reporting, it seems like there was a pretty clear inference given that he started making 50,000 increments and then reduced it to below the 10,000 mark. So I think it's going to be tough for the defense attorney to come up with a defense for him. So the reason now to plead not guilty is so that they can tee up any sort of pretrial agreement because it seems like uh, the attorney was just uh, 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 you know put on the case uh, Hastner just got his attorney so there's no point to plead guilty without a pretrial agreement in place otherwise uh, the defendant is at sort of the mercy of the court as to what uh, the judge will uh, uh, impose it's going to be really hard for him to prove that he didn't commit these two crimes and also that he had a defense. Now, he might say, look, I was blackmailed uh, uh, in making these payments. But two problems with that. One, there is no criminal defense of duress unless there was some bodily harm, some threat of bodily harm. And there's nothing to suggest that this individual A in the indictment threatened him with bodily harm. All that was threatened was sort of reputation. 